Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. This time it's about live streaming through OBS to YouTube, Twitch and whatnot, for which you need to know your upload speed. Test it and remember it. So do you remember your upload speed? Find your upload speed on the left there now and then make a note of the suggested maximum resolution and minimum bitrate as you're going to need these in a second. One second. So your base canvas and output resolution should be the same unless you're using the new NVIDIA encoder, in which case you should set it to what you're going to stream at. Set the output mode to advanced and pick an encoder and bitrate. X264 uses your CPU and allows you to rescale your output. If you have a supported GPU, then you'll see that as an option in there too. For the other settings, I follow the YouTube guide. So the keyframe frequency I set to two along with CBR for the bitrate encoding. Two B frames can also be set. I also match the audio settings of 44 0.1 kilohertz and 128 kilobits per second stereo. With all that set, let's take a look at some examples. This is a lower setting from the chart at a massive 426 by 360 using the CPU encoding X264 with a CPU usage preset of very fast. Scaling this up looks a little bit better, but the text still can't be read at all. With 640 by 360, things don't get much better, but once you reach 854 by 480, text starts to become clear. Typically, the lowest resolution used is 1280 by 720, also known 720p or standard HD. Here you can see the CPU encoding with a bitrate of 1500 kbps and a very fast CPU usage preset. Increasing the bitrate will further improve quality as you can see both here from the 1500 and 6000 kbps versions to compare. If you totally ignore my neatly typed chart and use a higher resolution in OBS then you'll get something like the mess on the left. The stream on the right was recorded at the suggested resolution and then scaled up afterwards. As you can see the one on the left looks like it has more blocks in it than a Lego factory but bitrate isn't the be all and end all factor here as well as uploading all that data you actually need to encode it in the first place and here we can see the impact of using different CPU usage presets. If you can't encode quickly enough you'll just end up with a choppy video that no one wants to watch. Just for giggles here is a selection of the various CPU usage presets. Test them on your computer to see which works best for you. The chances are you won't ever use very slow. If you're using GPU encoding then things look slightly different. Compare max performance versus max quality. It's quite obvious that the max performance is a bit rubbish, even at 3000 kbps, it looks like the 500 kbps for recording from earlier. Double a bitrate to 6000 kbps and max performance looks a little better, but it still looks like blocks, especially considering the bitrate. Remember, the higher the bitrate, the more data you're uploading every second. Both of these use the same bandwidth. The setting I tend to use is quality. Here you can see the quality setting with three different bitrates. Most noticeable is the smoke. The rest of the graphics actually look okay to me, and personally I can't see much of a difference between the three different bitrates shown here. Of course, this is all dependent on your particular hardware, so it's a good idea to test these things on your own rig. Things vary in their CPU and GPU usage, so you may also wish to change encoder depending on your available system resources. And finally, here are the CPU and GPU encoders side by side. Now you can live stream and impress your mates with your understanding of bit rates. Go you!